Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rocky Deer with Texas Bar TV here at the State Bar Annual Meeting 2016. Well, I am honored to have here with me, it used to be Mr. Mike Maslenka. It used to just be Mike Maslenka, J.D., but now it is Professor well, Mike well, Maslanka. Well, Professor Mike Maslanka, actually assistant professor. By the way, I never get tired of somebody calling me professor. I never get tired of saying when I was in practice, and I never get tired of hearing Professor Maslanka. So, I mean, no, Professor Maslanka is fine. So, Mike, where are you teaching? All right. Uh, uh, July 1st of 2015, I started uh, as an assistant professor of law at UNT Dallas College of Law. Is part of the UNT, University of North Texas system. We're part of the state of Texas, and the law school is actually located in downtown Dallas. Tell us about what makes UNT different and sort of the approach it takes to legal education. Yeah. The idea is to, to, to help train graduates to maybe right. become lawyers in their communities from which right. they hail. Can you tell us a bit sure. about that? What we want to do is produce lawyers who can go out and have a life in addition to practice law, and they're not burdened with that. Our theory is, is not that there are too many lawyers. Our theory is there's a misallocation of lawyers. We have practice-ready courses that permeate throughout the entire uh, three years or four years if you're a part-time student. So we want practice-ready lawyers who can go out and on day one actually practice law and actually help people in the community. People who ordinarily would not be able to afford a lawyer or might be financially strapped to pay for a lawyer. Every substantive course, upper level substantive course, will in fact have a practical, essentially a lab component to it. So we're introducing to the students, not just to the substance, but to how things get done. Are you, are you gonna place them in the field once they get to say third year level? We've just opened two community law centers, one in downtown Dallas uh, and one uh, near the Fair Park area. And our students, uh, it, it, I'm really excited about this. So that'll be one way our students will be able to deal face-to-face -face with individuals. But we have about 50 or 60 first-year mentors. Students are divided into small groups and they meet with their mentor. Sometimes you'll have three or four mentors to a group. And from the from day one, you're talking to other lawyers, you're talking to lawyers, you're talking to experienced lawyers who are out in the community and talking about what it means to be a lawyer. We want them to mingle and interchange with lawyers and learn from lawyers. Learn from other lawyers, just not your professors. Even though I practiced for 35 years and I can bring that perspective to the classroom, we want you to meet as a student a lot of different lawyers, a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life. Now, tell us about, and well, tell the viewers especially, about this concept of experiential learning. It's a concept yeah. that is certainly prevalent at UNT. Yeah, yeah. experiential learning is crucial uh, to us. I'll give you one quick example. We have a course on alternate dispute resolution. It's not just a bunch of lectures. It's just not about reading a bunch of cases. We actually design, create, and craft scenarios where the students actually engage in mock interviewing. It is a required, I mean, I'm sorry, mock uh, negotiation. Mm. It is a required course for all of our students. We do that from, from, the, from the outset, and our students want a practical education. And we're trying to change the basic wiring of their minds. Here's our theory, mm. here's our theory. I can give a lecture, and I'll change how much you know. I have you do an experience, I have you do an exercise, and it changes who you are. A lot of law students come and they think it's about the acquisition of knowledge. It's not. It's about the application of knowledge. And so one thing that I've really focused in on, even in the basic first year courses, is how do you apply the knowledge that you've gotten, that you've learned? And that sort of ch it's changed in orient it changed, the, changed the way I always thought teaching should be. Interesting. The other thing I want to really tell the viewers about is, and we're extremely proud of this. Our law school is one of the most diverse law schools in the country. By any metric, by age, race, gender, ethnicity, and we're extraordinarily proud of that. We want, we want lawyers, to, demographically and ethnically and socially, to reflect the community. And my youngest student's 21 years old, my oldest 59. So what's, what's maybe been the most profound lesson you've learned in, that, in this ensuing one year? That's a great question. Here's the most profound lesson for me and for others, is I have the opportunity 
to make a positive impact on the lives of other people. And we all do in our own ways. You just have to find the way. And to make a positive impact on another human being is uh, the greatest feeling in the world. Whether you're teaching or whether you're doing something else. Almost makes me want to go back to law school. Almost. 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 Well, Mike, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great annual meeting. For those of you that missed it, we, we certainly missed you. We want you to certainly be here next year. And for those of you that were here, hope you had a great conference. This is, this is a phenomenal event every year. And Mike and I are both very active in the Adaptable Lawyer. You know, Mike has been at the forefront of these types of issues and the changing of the legal profession. And it's been an absolute honor to have you here. And if you don't know how to spell Maslanka, just look up. It's the Polish word for buttermilk. For buttermilk, yeah. Yes. Yes. See, how did I know that? <laughs> okay, Mike told me a long time ago. It's a it's long story. But Professor Mike Maslanka, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Rocky, us today. Privilege. And thank you, guys. Thank you, guys out there. We'll see you back next time. For Texas Bar TV, this is Rocky Deer signing off.